to charge you anything. And those are now 100% what quote unquote free. Those are far and in between. Then there are others who say, for example, in Australia, who say they want nurses. They can take our nurses from medical 2022. And since then, I've not been employed. I understand the meaning of tarmacking. Uh, currently pursuing Masters of Development in the University of Nairobi. And uh, my question is uh, on Kazia Maju. It's a good in initiative, especially when you're looking at remittance impact on the economy. But there's a high processing fee for jobs, be it Qatar, be it uh, Europe. Are there plans to initiate costs for those getting jobs, even if it's providing loans? Thank you very much, Ms. Lum uh, Lumadi. Alfred, you are the owner of that space. Uh, that's a very good question. You see, the whole essence of uh, jobs overseas are for you to be able to live here and go get a good job. Now, there are two kinds of jobs. There are two kinds of offers, mostly. There are companies that say, we want nurses, for example, or we want teachers, or we want uh, riders, or we want ICT specialists. And we will pay for the preparation of those candidates to come to our country. We will pay their medical fee, we will pay their air transport, we will pay money for them to do the necessary tests they need to do at the station and all that. And they pay for everything and the agency that gets a job will probably charge you maybe 10 or 20,000 for their processing fee or will actually be paid by those companies a service fee so they don't have to charge you anything. And those are now 100% what quote unquote free. Those are fine in between. Then there are others who say, for example, in Australia, who say they want nurses. They can take our nurses from medical training college who have diplomas because they're not allowed to work as nurses uh, in hospitals. They can work in nurses at aged care, making approximately half a million shillings a month. But before they go, they have to do certain exams that the Australian government wants them to do. And if you add up the exams, including English test, it comes to over 100,000 shillings. Then they have to pay their ticket to Australia, about $1,500. And then they have to pay ETC, ETC. So you find that if you want to go to Australia, the Australians say, we want you here, but we're not going to pay for you to get here. You get here, we'll give you the job. And they give you the job before you get there. So when you get there, you get there. But then now you have to come up with 200, 250,000 shillings. So you don't have to go. But if you choose to go, then you realize how much you have to pay. Now what we have done is that I have had meetings with financial institutions. And I've asked them, can you provide a facility to our young people who don't have money to go overseas? And they pay these fees for their ticket, etc., etc. And they said, yes, but we need uh, surety. I said, I'll write you a letter. They said, no, because what has happened in the past is that a Kenyan will get a loan. As soon as they get inside the plane, they block the person who gave them the money. And they don't pay back. So they have had that history. So I have told them, you can't ask for a title deed for somebody who lives in a slum or who lives in towns where the fathers don't have the mother, the parents don't have a farm or something, or they don't have a car. So we have agreed that they can come to your house and they can look at what you have, what your mother or father has. Ukona TV moja, ukona couch moja, and then they can cost it, and they say we're going to give you a loan on this, uh, as this as a guarantor. So that now, if you don't pay the loan, they take your mother's bed. So that will actually uh, uh, will help you actually process the loan. So we are trying many ways, and as the president has said, with the BLAs, we are pushing for companies that are actually pay for some of the costs, especially the cost of air transport, which are usually very high. Thank you. Um, I think we have something else. Can uh, C uh, PS uh, SME say something? I think we have another ecosystem of, yeah. Thank you, Your Excellency. In our ecosystem of MSME, we have Youth Enterprise Fund. And the Youth Enterprise Fund have a migration loan, labor migration loan. And the figures I have, they have processed so far 78 million 
and supported 354 young people. So this is available, but we are trying to see how do we even expand that ecosystem. Also, urging our other agencies like Weso Fund. So our other agencies like Weso Fund also to introduce that financial product so that we get to support you to facilitate you also to leave something behind to your family because that is always a challenge. Thank you. Next. Yes. So as you have heard, it comes all the way from jobs that everything is paid for, including air tickets, to a situation where nothing is paid for. And there are all manner of in-betweens. But the CEO of um, the Youth Fund, Mr. Yes, you remember I had a conversation with you. And he can confirm that he has a financial product. Can you confirm to um, Lumadi, yes, that indeed under our Youth Fund, there is a product that they can tap into? Thank you, Max. Thank you, Excellency. Yes, indeed, I confirm that uh, in the youth fund we have a migration loan. The limit for that is 300,000 Kenya, Kenyan shillings, and so far the statistics are as read by the PS. Yes, I confirm, you, Excellency. So, those of you who are looking for an opportunity, um, there is an opportunity funded by the government of Kenya, and if there are limitations, I am ready to enhance the budget to them so that we can get more. Um, um, when he mentioned it to me, I, I told him that that is a, a good product and uh, we agreed that if, it, if they get to the limit, we can extend uh, their limit. Okay? All right. Maybe a question from this end. Thank you. 